Yeah. Well, well, well. Let us see what a single small thing can make a big and large changes. For that to happen, go to add-on. Go to Blender Preferences. Go to add-on, and in that, search for extra objects. And after you get that, tick it off, and close this window. And then we will go to Blender. And here, what we can do is go to Add, go to Mesh, and we get this extra options. And in that, we are going to see what single voltage does. I have completed what Rock Generator does. Now we will be covering what single voltage has does. Now we will add single voltage here. What it does is it brings a single voltage, and with the help of this, we can create some wonderful things. So for that to happen. it already went into the edit mode we don't need to go from edit mode from object mode to edit mode we are already in the edit mode and we are in the vertex mode and i will tap e to extrude this object and extrude this vertex and extrude this vertex and extrude this vertex and extrude this vertex and select both of this vertex and tap f to fill it and select all the vertices and tap f to fill this vertices so wherever we are seeing from this now it is blue color what this is in the overlays panel what i have done is i have activated face orientation and because of that we can see where the face is actually showing up so this is the side which will be rendered and this is the side which won't be rendered that is why it is shown in red color and this is shown in blue color so i will go to the overlay and switch this face orientation off now this is how single vertex can be used to create a face and if you put a little bit of brain you can extrude this now how can this be used and how to harvest something beautiful out of this what i will do is i will switch this off currently and uh, i will bring an image and this image is made up of logos and wherever we are seeing from it aligns it according to the view so to reset its rotation i am tapping alt r and to reset its location alt g so it resets its location and rotation after doing that what i will do is i will go to add i will go to mesh and i will go for single vertex add single vertex and g z and bring it a little bit above the image plane i don't want it to merge with image plane i want it to float over the image plane and then we will go into the z axis we are already in the edit mode we can tap g and bring this vertex over here and let me zoom in a little bit so that i can show you what i am actually doing i am extruding this vertex i am tapping e and dragging the vertex i am tapping e and dragging the vertex and i will do this until i completely cover up this entire logo so this part will be fast forwarded and now i want to connect these faces i will select this vertex as well as this vertex holding the shift button and then tap f to fill it now this is the thing i have got i will select all these vertices and tap f and then what we can do is go to the overlays option and tick off this face orientation so that we can see if it is going to render or not this is not going to render and this part is going to render so we want bluer part on the top side so for that to happen i will go into the mesh go to normals and flip the normals so now the bottom part will be red and the top part will be blue and it will be rendered and i am going to extrude this logo using the e now if i tap e and bring it a little bit up 
so this is how we can create 3d logos if you want you can create 3d logo of a batman of a pepsi or even your own 3d logos using this method and one more use of single vertex i have found out is that you can make walls for floor plans let us see what is that and how it can be done what i have done is i have imported a floor plan i'm going into the z axis now this is the floor plan and this dark blue lines are walls so for that walls what we can do is go to add go to mesh go to single vertex and add a single vertex and then bring this single vertex over this wall and tap e and y to keep it over here and tap e and x to keep it over here tap e y to take it downside tap e x to take it this side tap e y to take it this side and select both of this and tap f and now you are going to get this uh, wonderful vertex select all the vertex tap f to fill it now luckily this face orientation it ticks so that i can see if it is going to be rendered or not what actually happens is that if i extrude this this entire thing is red and it is not going to show or view in the render viewport so for that to happen we have to go to mesh we have to go to normals and flip the normals and unfortunately it flips only for the selected vertex i am going to select the entire thing go to mesh and go to normals and then recalculate outside this is going to recalculate outside and this is going to be rendered let me select this face go to the face select mode which is over here then select this face go to mesh go to normals and flip normals or what you can do is select all the faces by tapping a you can select the entire thing and what we can do is go to the mesh go to normals and recalculate outside now all the faces will be rendered because the blue side is on the outer side so i will go to the overlays and turn off face orientation and now as you can see we have built a wall so you can build a floor plan as well with the use of single vertex or you can build a logo these are the two uses i have found out if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you want to wholeheartedly support me you can go on the patreon page links will be given in the description you can also financially support me using the google pay phone pay and paytm phone number will be given in the description as well if you want you can leave in a comment or with that being said and done try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video